Hi everyone, welcome to Winged Horse Designs. Welcome to the first of many YouTube videos in the year 2020. We're going to do this cute little card today and it's using the Peaceful Poppy Suite. So let me switch to the other camera and we'll get started. All right, so for this card, we're going to use Thick Whisper White and it measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter. We're going to use a piece of regular Whisper White that measures one and an eighth inch by three and an eighth inches. We're going to use two of the smaller pieces of designer series paper, and this is a great card for using up those smaller pieces. And these pieces measure one and 11 sixteenths, sorry for that, by three inches. And then we're going to cut out some frames using the rich razzleberry. So what we're going to do with those is we're going to take and we're going to move all this out of the way. We're going to layer two framelets together, uh, dies, excuse me. And we're using the stitched rectangles dies. And so for the larger piece, for the part with the designer series paper, we're using the second and third one in the larger set. And for the greeting, we're using the second and third one in the more uh, elongated rectangle. And so if you just put them together and you layer them up and tape them down so that the inside frame doesn't shift from the other, what you get is you get this frame when it pops out. So you'll have this piece that you can use and it has this nice detailed stitching. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it up into, there we go, there you can see it. Um, so it's a great piece for another project. And then if you're lucky enough to get it centered, um, then you can also use this piece and it has stitching along the inside edge. So don't throw those away. So let's go ahead and get started with this by doing our stamping first. And I'm going to, oh, well, before we do that, the stamp sets that I chose today are the painted poppies. And we're actually going to use this poppy and this watercolor splash behind it for the inside of our card. And then I chose this scripty birthday wishes from Itty Bitty Birthdays. I did use free stamp sets today. I apologize for that. And then with the great big wish for happiness. The ink colors used today are Tuxedo Black Memento ink, Rich Razzleberry, and Old Olive. And I have chosen to use the Stamparatus today. so that I can get this lined up, hopefully, perfectly. So I'm just going to, and I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape to hold it in place. Or, well, let's just use the magnets. That's what they're for. So we're going to put one magnet here, and we're going to put one right over this corner. You don't want to get them too close together, because if you do, they will snap together, and they are brittle, and they will break. And we're just going to ink up our birthday wishes. Oops. Now see, I got it in the wrong place already. And we're just going to ink that up. And the beauty of the Stamparatus is one, you can get it perfect, especially if you're doing multiple de um, cards. But also, if I didn't get it exactly the way I wanted, maybe one side was a little bit lighter than the other, I could ink it up and come back on it. I'm going to switch plates and bring in the other one that I have lined up for the actual inside of our card. So I'm going to line that up. If my arrows that I cheat arrows that I put in are correct. That should be exactly where we want it. And 
There we have it. Perfect alignment for those two pieces. And then for our little flower on the inside of our card, just to bring a little bit of the patterned paper to the inside, we are going to stamp. Oh, and I had meant to stamp these in green. That's okay. It's perfectly okay. We'll have one green and one in rich razzle berry. And I'm going to stamp the outline of our poppy in the tuxedo black memento. And then take that watercolor splash and I'm going to stamp off with this on a piece of scrap paper that I have over here on the side of my table. And then I'm just going to stamp right over the top of it. It's not supposed to be a perfect match, so that's a good thing. And now all we have to do is start putting this card together. So the hardest part, the most uh, time-consuming part, is cutting out our little frames. So let's take a bone folder and give this a good, strong burnish. Bring this back so you can see. So, putting these pieces together, I like to use the liquid glue because it gives me a little bit of time to um, work with these. So we cut those pieces, that designer series paper and the piece that we stamped happy birthday on, just slightly smaller than these frames. And then we'll just glue this to the back. So that we have a frame going around it. And then we'll do the same thing with our designer series pieces of paper. So all of these, well, not all of them, actually. The Itty Bitty Birthdays is out of the annual catalog, but everything else is out of the Celebration and the Mini Catalog. So these are new products that just became available on Friday. And then we just need to start assembling the front of our card. Since I have the liquid glue out, I'll just go ahead and stick with the liquid glue, but if you prefer a double-sided tape, you could definitely switch to a double-sided tape for this step. And we're just going to put one up in this corner. One down in this corner. I'm getting glue all over myself here. That is the disadvantage of working with liquid glue. And then we'll use some dimensionals to pop this one up. So I'm just going to put one in each corner probably overkill. We could probably get away with just putting one on each side and one down the middle. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, which my YouTube channel is new, so you would be new to my YouTube channel. Um, 
I also do Facebook Lives every Wednesday night, doing the same thing. Simple little projects that we can put together in a hurry, um, just so we can use up those crafting supplies. So you might think, wow, that's really pretty. Too bad painted poppies is for the ladies, but that's not really true because some of the patterns are um, without florals in them. So if you have men in your life who aren't into florals, you could use the other side of one of the papers that had the green stripes. So this one I used the old olive stripes. I used my frames with Mossy Meadow and I stamped with Pacific Point and I chose a different happy birthday that was less scripty and then simply stamped it's your day and put some paper on the inside. Don't forget to decorate your envelopes. So over on this one, I will, there we go, here's my envelope. I just stamped the same flower as the inside on the outside of my envelope. So I hope you enjoyed today's project and I will see you again next Monday. Have a great week, everyone.